Now, it is really important, okay, we've talked about the body postures between uh, the main body postures in terms of dogs. Um, have you ever wondered why dogs and cats, you know, don't get along? Well, part of the reason is because, <coughs> um, because of miscommunication. Dogs and cats tend to use exactly the same signals, but very often with very different meanings. Um, some cat facial signals are very similar <coughs> to those of dogs. So there's our relaxed cat, and there's our fearful cat. You notice you get the same um, uh, sort of slitting in the eyes and uh, same elongation of the mouth. However, there are some postures which are quite different. Um, an attentive cat opens his eyes very wide and tends to hold his ears slightly forward. And that, that's your sort of typical kind of a thing. And um, dogs can easily misinterpret that as a dominance challenge. Um, uh, some signals are very ambiguous to dogs. For a cat, um, they, when they're about to attack something, they develop what, what I call for my kids, you know, airplane ears. They take their ears and they bend their ears forward to sort of form this thing like airplane wings. Um, and in fact, in the wild, uh, this is used as, as a definite communication. So some uh, wild cats, like lynxes and, uh, and that sort of thing, uh, will have special markings on the back of their ears, which only show at this time when they're basically saying, you know, don't push me, Charlie, uh, kind of a thing. Uh, so that turned ear is, in fact, a threat. But, of course, to a dog, uh, that looks much more submissive. Um, another thing is that for uh, a cat, uh, the uh, uh, most friendly uh, gesture that he, he can make is this very high tail carriage. And it's usually associated with the cat then coming over and rubbing himself against you and that sort of thing. Uh, but that's easily seen as a dominance challenge by dogs. Um, so, you know, the cat's trying to be friendly. And the dog says, hey, why are you trying to push me around? And snaps at it. And that cat's never going to trust another dog as long as he lives. On the other hand, an aggressive cat is going to carry his tail low. And uh, that's similar to the, to the insecure dog kind of a signal. So the dog thinks it's safe. And he comes over. And he gets a face full of you know, fangs and claws. Um, and the cat tends to wag its tail mostly when it's stalking or when it is giving a signal, a danger, an aggressive signal, which, of course, for dogs is a submissive thing. So, you know, the dog comes over, this dog's giving, this, this cat is giving what to him is a submissive signal. You know, he gets several holes in his nose. He's never going to you know, uh, trust another cat as long as he lives. Uh, a cat rolling onto its back is often part of an attack sequence. If, if their prey is very big, they roll over, grab the head of their prey uh, with their front paws and their mouth, and then use a bunny kick to try to disembowel them. Uh, so a dog sees uh, what it interprets as it's this incredibly passive role, comes over to investigate it, and next thing you know, you've got a very unhappy dog who will never trust another cat. <laughs>